Hey Confirmation Youth, welcome to what is going to be the last Confirmation uh, class of 2020. So we're excited to move past this year and get into a new year. Uh, we're also excited tonight to wrap up the lessons that we've been doing on the Ten Commandments before you head off to Christmas, which I'm, I'm sure you're all really excited about. I also know that you're really excited to hear who won Lulu Box this week, uh, but I'm going to push that all the way to the end just to keep your interest, right? Uh, I actually have a really good Christmas gift, I think, for you two at the very end, too. But before we get there, let's talk a little bit about the Ten Commandments that we've been spending some time with over the last couple of weeks. Now, the entire reason uh, that we have the Ten Commandments to begin with um, as you recall, the people are moving out of Egypt. They're coming into this new community that they're going to live in together. They have to figure out how to live together with each other in community with one another. And they have to figure out how to do so in a way that actually, you know, makes sense for all of them, that, um, that allow them to, to feel good, uh, to be happy. And so the reason that God gives them these Ten Commandments is if we follow these ten things, if, if the first people that Moses brought the Ten Commandments to, but also you and I, if we follow these ten things, which is almost nearly impossible to do sometimes, but if we do, ultimately we're going to live really good and happy lives. And we're going to do so in good relationship with each other uh, and with, with everyone else in the world as well. And so that's what God wants. And God lays out these ten things, hoping that we're going to do them because God wants uh, what is best for us. Now, when we break these Ten Commandments, when we break one of these uh, commandments, these rules, there tends to be consequences. Um, and, and usually it isn't so much that like, ooh, God is angry at you, although God may be disappointed when we break them. They usually have consequences uh, for our relationships with each other and our own happiness as well. Now, you may not ultimately think that's true. You may think, wow, I really want that, that new PlayStation, and so I'm going to steal it, uh, and then I'll be happy, right? But ultimately, when you steal things, for instance, you know, to focus on that commandment, uh, you're going to break down the relationships that you have uh, with one another. Whoever you stole that from is probably not going to be too happy about that. Um, and ultimately, it's probably not going to lead to your true happiness either, or your kind of your long-term joy. You may get a, a moment of, of feeling pretty good about it, but ultimately, it's not likely going to end up being a good thing at the end for you. So these commandments really exist so that we could could live together in community with each other and, and live good lives, uh, both as individuals and, and, and again as a community. So I wanted to tell you a little bit of a story that kind of reflects how, how that works in my life because I think you guys probably have rules that govern your relationships and I want you to think a little bit about that. What are the rules uh, that you might have with your friends, maybe in your classrooms, um, and, and what happens when we break them? So when I was uh, in, in sixth grade, actually fifth grade, um, I got a new best friend. His name was Dave. We were best friends. He was awesome. Um, we were best friends for fifth grade and, and in sixth grade we were best friends and in seventh grade Dave and I were really good friends. In eighth grade Dave and I were really good friends. Um, so Dave and I just had a great relationship and uh, everything was going great and then at the very last day of eighth grade um, we went on this field trip um, we went on this uh, trip up to, um, to the Twin Cities and we were in, in the school bus and on the, on the way back I got to sit next to Becca. Now Becca was pretty cute, uh, liked her, thought that would be a, a pretty good girlfriend if, uh, if guys like me ever got to date uh, anyone, right? Uh, anyway, I liked Becca, I thought she was cute, uh, but I knew that Dave liked her and I knew that Dave like really liked her, but that didn't matter because I was sitting next to Becca on the bus. That hardly ever happened for me. We were having a great conversation, and like I said, she was super cute. So that was the last day of eighth grade, and let me tell you, when ninth grade started, Dave and I were not friends anymore, and when tenth grade, uh, Dave and I were not friends, and eleventh grade, Dave and I were still not friends. We, we kind of made up a little bit for senior year, uh, and we were friends again when we went to college our freshman year. But I lost some really good years of a great friendship, uh, all because I broke a rule, uh, perhaps a commandment, one of the more maybe important rules and commandments of, uh, of friendship between guys at that age, is that, uh, that you don't try to date the girl that your friend likes, right? So 
Big mistake. Uh, turns out Becca didn't want to date either of us. Uh, I'm sure that shocks all of you, right? That she'd have no interest in either of us. Um, but uh, it did have a consequence, right? So because I broke that rule, um, it was hard for me to live in, in happiness, uh, both for myself and also hard for me to live in a good relationship with Dave. So when we break rules, when we break commandments, there's usually going to be a consequence. Um, and, and God sets up these Ten Commandments so that we wouldn't have to face those consequences, so we could live in good relationship with one another. Now we've always uh, talked a lot about too in previous uh, confirmation classes that it's always good to remember that Jesus uh, means that we're always forgiven, that God always loves us and that God is always going to forgive us. And so when we talk about commandments, please always remember that uh, you're probably like me and you're probably breaking them uh, from time to time. And the good news is, is that Jesus has us covered for all of that. Uh, Jesus will always forgive us. It's not like you break a commandment uh, and you're going straight to hell. So that's a good Christmas gift. Let's read off a couple names from, uh, from winners here. Um, for this week, for Lulu Bucks, you guys can expect some Lulu Bucks coming in the mail if you are Merrill Boss, Anthony Buzio, or Eliana Marcus. So congratulations to the three of you. Uh, thanks to everybody for filling out that form. Now before you go and fill out the form for tonight, I have an assignment for you. But hopefully this has been fairly short because I'm going to give you an assignment that may take a little bit of time and I know we've been promising that we want to do this in like in like 20 minutes. So here's your assignment and you know if you need to promise your mom and dad that it's a real assignment maybe you know find out when I'm telling you this on the video pause it come back to it. I want you to go and watch TV. I want you to go and watch a, a television show. I want you to go watch a movie. Maybe it's Netflix. Maybe it's cable. Whatever you want to do. I want you to go and watch TV and I want you to do this before you fill out the form because I'm going to ask you what show you watched and I'm also going to ask you uh, what rule uh, that you saw being broken in this TV show or in this movie. Maybe it's one of the Ten Commandments that we've been talking about or maybe it's kind of a rule like don't date your best friend's uh, girl that he likes, uh, something like that, more of a rule that's really important in your lives right now. But I want you to find what that rule is that you see being broken in the TV show or the movie, and then I want you to tell me what happens as a consequence uh, afterwards. What is it that means that they can't live uh, in a good relationship anymore? What means uh, what happens to that person that means they're not going to be so happy anymore. What are the consequences for breaking the rule? So I'm going to watch some TV too. Uh, I've got some cheese balls and I'm ready to go sitting here on the couch. Uh, I wish I could share these with you, but you're not here. So I'm going to have to eat all of the cheese balls myself. Uh, they're cheap and delicious. It's, it's one of the best snacks ever because of that. So, hey, Merry Christmas to all of you guys. I sure miss seeing everybody. Wish we could be together. Um, I hope you all have a great and very safe Christmas. Uh, feel free to check out Vinji's Christmas Eve service online or we'd love to see you in the parking lot on Christmas Eve at uh, 4.30 or 6 o'clock. Uh, tell your parents they should RSVP just to help us out so we know exactly how many people are coming because without that we've got no clue. We've never done COVID Christmas before so we have no no clue who's coming. We'd love to see you there. Give us a heads up that you're coming, but if you forget that, come anyway. We'd love to see you guys on Christmas, um, even though it's going to be socially distanced and with a mask. I'd still love to see your eyes uh, out there in the parking lot. So, Merry Christmas. Enjoy the TV show. Don't forget to fill out the form, and we'll catch you in 2021. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.